enough of me talking about it. Let's go ahead and go for it. I'm going to scooch back onto my uh, towel back here. Go ahead and get to your workspace. We will begin. So I'm going to start lying on our back today for class. So lying on your back, I'm going to come on down. Let's start with the knees bent, feet grounded. So once you make your way onto the floor, you want to now align the knees and feet with your hip bones and front body. That's a narrow stance. It's only about two fist distances away. Okay. Then the arms. Let's have them just resting along your sides, but they don't have to be in super close, right? You don't have to be like a sardine packed in. Let the arms kind of angle just slightly outward and also have your palms faced up. This will allow the shoulders to roll open and relax, right? Shoulders is a super common area of tension. And even though uh, or sometimes we don't realize that we have it there, right? Humans, we're so used to doing this, right? Shoulders scrunched up to ears. Now we have a chance to let that go. All right, so shoulders rolled open here. Length, spine, really long. Nothing is compressed. So if your chin is pushing up to the sky or if your chin is trying to press down into your chest, bring your chin about fist distance away. That's a nice neutral space. And then also feel the crown of your head reaching to the back of your mat, which really will lengthen you out. Yeah, let's go ahead and close the eyes here. Closing the eyes really just helps us to go inside, right? To go inward, to find some focus to our self. Take a nice deep breath in here. Fill up in through the nose. Open your mouth and just dump it out. Let it all release. Make that very audible. Let's do it a couple more times. Big breath in. Fill from the pit of your belly all the way up into your heart space. And then exhale. Open the mouth as if you're trying to fog up a mirror. Notice how the body kind of settles more when you do that. We'll do that one more time. Deep breath in. Fill. Open. Expand. And then open the mouth. All right, dump it all out. Yeah, and then start to come into your breath here. So you can either choose to inhale and exhale through your nose. That would be more of a yogic style breath. Or you could inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth, which would be more along the lines of a Pilates breath. Whichever one is most comfortable for you. But then just begin to notice here, right? Feeling the breath, traveling in, traveling out. Listen to the breath. How does it sound? Notice a little movement in your body just due to the breath alone. Right, we're tapping into something that we do all the time, right? We breathe, it's what keeps us here, but we don't really pay attention to it because we don't have to. As humans, we're so used to just breathing into the upper chest region, so that doesn't really get us breathing into the full capacity of our lungs. So this is where we want to kind of learn to do it while we're on our mat right at the beginning of practice. So slowing your breath down. Really focus on taking longer, deeper breaths and starting from low and belly, lifting all the way up. And then a very steady exhale out to make sure that you also empty out completely all the way to the very bottom. As you're breathing in, allow the body to expand. Make that 360, fill into front sides and your back body with air. When you're exhaling, Squeeze the breath out and pull and knit and draw everything back into your midline, your center. You want to think about taking longer breaths in but are easy and light. Steady exhales but are very powerful and audible. You have to engage the core to release all of that breath. So, belly rises on a breath in, filling with air. The lower abs pull down deeply as you squeeze the breath out of the body. Push it away. Energy. 
Take four more rounds of breath here. Continue to connect breath and core, right? Build up the relationship between. Pull your abdominal muscles in even deeper each time you breathe out. Couple more cycles of breath here. Inhaling, light, easy, big, full. Exhale, powerful, strong, steady, all the way to the bottom. One more time here. Breath in, low in belly, lift to ribs, come up into chest. Squeeze and push it down from chest, down through ribs, and that last bit all the way down through lower belly. Okay. From here, continuing that breath, take the arms and then open them out to a T. You can also cactus the arms here on your back if you're really close to an object. And then with your knees and feet, you're going to widen them. So take the feet out about mat width or towel width or blanket width apart, knees the same, just so you have a wide stance with your legs. We're gonna start by working on warming into our lower back, working on uh, hip mobility and activating our core. Okay, so on an inhale, begin to lower both legs over towards the right side of your workspace. And then on the exhale, draw the belly in deep and slowly begin to pull the legs back up to center. Then on the inhale, both legs lower to the left. Squeeze the breath out, tighten up the belly, and lift the legs back up slow. So you're going to continue this windshield wiper movement. Breath in to take the legs to one side. And push the air out and begin to lift legs, exhaling. So as you move through this, we want our upper body to be very stabilized. So backs of shoulders, shoulder blades anchor to the earth. The majority of the upper body stays still and centered while the lower half of your body is moving. The legs themselves should be along for the ride. The core muscles are doing most of the work to bring your legs back to that centered position. Let's go ahead, take one more to each side. Big inhale, gentle lower to one side. Squeeze and contract core, lift, exhale. One last time over to that last side, breath in. Squeeze it out, lift it up, exhale, pause. Start to heel toe the feet back inward so they're only back to hip width, knees the same. Arms then lower at your sides. Take your right ankle and cross it over your left knee, flex your foot. Use that energy to push the leg away. You can even take your hand to the inside of that right thigh. You're just creating a little bit more space to that outer hip. Here is your figure four stretch. So any variation of it that you'd like to take, meaning the left foot can stay grounded or the left leg can lift up a bit more and you can hold the left leg behind with both hands. You could also offer movement here very slowly though, rocking side to side. Adding in movement can offer a different sensation, a different experience of the stretch. It can tend to kind of wrap around into the glute region depending upon the angle that you're leaning into. But whichever variation you're in, check your shoulders again. Did they pull up to ears? Check also the back of your neck. Did the chin start to lift? Find your breath. If you were in movement, you're going to come back to still at center. If you had lifted that left foot, you're going to release it. Then let's uncross it, right ankle, right? And then we'll switch sides. Left ankle over right knee. Drive out through the heel of your foot. That's going to help give it energy to help push the leg away for more space. And then any variation on this side as well. And it doesn't have to be the same thing you did on the other side. Just note that. So feel in your body. Really shift your attention to that left outer hip. If you're choosing to offer a movement, make sure, again, it's very slow. Reason being that way, our mind can really catch up to the feeling physically in our body. We can understand it a little bit more. Breathe, right, that breath, right into that left outer hip. Good. And then if you were in movement, we're coming back to still. Let's release the stretch, uncross the legs, place the feet back onto the floor. From here, let's interlace fingers, hands behind the head. Elbows out wide. So feel your elbows reach from wall space to wall space here. Take a nice breath in. 
On your exhale, belly in tight, peel up, head, neck, shoulders. Look down towards your navel to keep the back of your neck long. And then release back down on an inhale. So simple abdominal curls. Let's focus on the alignment and the structure. Exhale, as we come up to tips of shoulder blades, we're looking downward to keep the neck long. We're also pulling elbows back to force our core to work. Come down on an inhale. Again, exhale. As you peel up, take your tailbone and root it towards the floor. It'll activate more into your lower abs. Come down on an inhale. Let's do four more of these. Four. Squeeze the breath out, but take the entire exhale to get to that lifted space. Lower down on an inhale. So we don't move quickly so that it eliminates momentum as well. Again, exhale. Peel up, look downward. Actively pull elbows back. Lower down on an inhale. We'll do two more of these just to warm and fire up the core. Exhale, peel up, head, neck, shoulders, looking downward, tailbone, roots. Come down on your inhale. One last time here. Let's exhale, peel up, the head, the neck, and the shoulders. Let's stay here lifted. Let's release the hands. Bring our arms beside us, but hovered and firm those arms up. Begin to pump them down. So isolation of movement here. The arms are very energetic, but everything else is like a statue. Breathing steadily through for five, four, three, two, one, and bring it on down. Recovery. Let's draw the knees into chest. Place our hands on our knees. Use your hands for guidance. Begin to draw circles with the legs, both moving in the same direction. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. It's for the lower back, the backs of your hips, your SI joints, just giving them a little bit of a massage. Always feels so good for me. <laughs> Go ahead, pause in reverse direction. Good. All right, let's go ahead, bring the legs back to stilette center. Let's take those hands back down along our side, nice and close this time. Unless you feel like you want more stability, you'll take your arms out to a T. We're going to focus on isolation of movement here. We're going to start with one leg at a time and then build up from there. With knees in close, take a breath in. Then as you exhale, just the right leg, let's go ahead and extend it out away from the body. Point through the toes. And then draw the knee back in again on an inhale. Moving to the left side, exhale, left leg. You're extending out and feel the length pulling away from the hip joint. And then draw the knee back in again on an inhale. So we're going to do that again. Right leg extends out. If you're wanting a little bit more, do this with head and shoulders up, hands behind the head, elbows wide. Left leg slowly extends. So again, everything else does not move here. Draw the knee back in again on an inhale. This time, exhale, extend the right leg out long again. Now on your inhale, both legs, we're going to switch. Right knee pulls in, left leg extends out. Exhale, switch. So now we're moving to one breath, one movement, and now we're working with two body parts, both legs, moving simultaneously. So we're just building up the heat in our core. Breath in, breath out. One more each. Breath in. Breath out. Good. Whichever leg is extended, draw it into you. If your head was up, take it down, release, and recover. So our core, right, our core muscles, sometimes we'll work to um, move a part of the body. Sometimes the core is going to work to help keep body parts still. And more often than not, the core is working to do both at the same time. So just being very aware, like, okay, what has to be moving? What shouldn't be moving? And how can I control all of that? All right, let's go ahead and lift both legs to the sky. Let's keep firing up that core. Grab behind the right leg with both hands and begin to lower your left leg downward. Again, find a level that will work for you. Head, once again, can be grounded or lifted for more heat. We're working into the hamstrings and the abs. Breath in, two pulses in with that right leg towards you. Switch it out as you breathe out. Hold the left leg, pulse it in twice, and then switch. Ooh, my legs are super sore from that hike that I took yesterday, so this feels good but bad, but also very good. <laughs> Abs, we're using those to support this time, so using it to keep the upper body from moving while legs do. Pulsing in, switching. We'll do this for five more seconds. Four, 
Mm -hmm. Three, firm that belly. Two, one, and then both legs to sky. If your head was up, release it down. Place your hands to your knees. Let's begin just to rock side to side. Just a little massage for the whole back here. Right, nice little massage. And then from side to side, we'll now rock forward and back. Forward and back, up and down the spine. Also a massage, but we're rocking up so that we can transition to tabletop. So coming all the way up and then onto all fours. Spread your fingers out really wide here. That's going to help support your wrists. Oh, I'm way far off center. <laughs> Uh, knees underneath the hips, hip bone width apart, and then we're looking slightly forward. Breathing in, let your belly start melting to the floor as your heart and tailbone start shining upward towards the sky. This is your cow pose, arching of back. Exhale into cat. So pull the lower belly in and up as you begin rounding your back and letting your head fall gently through your arms. Again, inhaling, cow pose. Broaden across your chest as it shines up. And then exhale, scoop out your underside and round your back. Once more, breath in, belly relaxes. This is a nice stretch for your core as well. And then we have to engage our abdominals, scoop out and up to round spine. Good, and then go ahead and bring yourself back to a neutral position. Again, looking slightly forward. Let's go ahead and take the right leg, Straighten it behind us, tuck the toes under, place the ball of your foot onto the floor. Then step your left hand to the center of your workspace. We're going to roll open to a modified side plank, also called gate. So make sure here that grounded arm, grounded leg, and extended leg are all in one line. Right arm is reaching to the sky with fingers spread out. Then we're going to take the sole of our right foot and place it to the ground so the outer edge of that foot is really sealing down and in. Then take the right arm, reach it up and over, head palm turns to face the floor. This is a nice deep side body stretch all the way from the edge of that foot through your fingertips, maybe even pulling that right arm back a bit and rolling open towards the sky. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. If you had rolled open, go ahead and Start to square up to the right side of your mat again, and then flex your right foot and lift it off the ground. Point the toes forward. Take a breath in here. Lift out of that left arm. As you exhale, take the elbow and knee on your right side and pull them in towards each other along your side body. Side body crunch. And then extend away again, inhaling, arm forward, leg back. Exhale, pull it in. Squeeze it out. Reach it out. Breath in. Two more times, exhale, squeeze in and up to the side, extend away, lengthen, inhale, one more, exhale, pull it in, good, then extend the right leg, place your right hand to your hip, point your toes, press those hips forward and begin to draw circles, we're warming up that outer hip, our abs are working to stabilize, four, three, good, two, take your time, one, Pause, reverse it, breath in, breath out. Keep reaching through those toes. Four, three, two, one. Good, take that foot back down to the floor. Right hand back to the mat, right knee. Step your left hand back in line with the shoulder, table, top position. Let's do the other side. Left leg extends back, curl the toes under. Right hand steps to center. Line, then roll open to a modified side plank, also called gait. So again, take a moment to align, right? So I had to slide my left leg back a little bit. I had to look down, make sure my right hand was in line with the right leg. Let's take that left arm extended up over its shoulders, spread fingers, then reach the arm up and over in line with ear, palm turns down, and then the sole of your left foot really presses into the floor, side body stretch. Again, option to kind of roll open if you'd like. That just gets a little bit more into the armpit region here. Good. Then if you decided to roll open, let's go ahead and bring it to square back to the left side of your mat. Notice here if you've dumped down into your right arm, push away from the ground. Sometimes it helps to tent the fingers or to create a fist to push away from. Let's flex the left foot and lift the uh, foot further away from the ground to a hover breath in here. And then as you exhale, pull elbow and knee together by your side, by your waist. 
and then extend out again on an inhale side body crunch exhale squeeze it out and then extend away we're going to do two more of these exhale squeeze good and then reach out so just let the arm and leg move exhale squeeze it in as closely as they can get extend back out left leg left hand to hip point your toes hips press forward and we draw some circles here so again isolation that left leg has movement but everything else mm -mm. good three two one pause and reverse it breath in breath out good three Whoo. two hips burning <laughs> one good and then go ahead float the left foot back down left hand back to the ground left knee right hand steps to the side to get underneath its shoulder again widen now the base of your knees big toes touch Take your sits bones, push them back towards your heels, sitting onto them. Begin to walk the hands forward as you fold in between the legs. Forehead towards the floor, fingers spread wide. Hands a little wider, then shoulder width distance. Here we are in child's pose. <clears throat> I like to come into child's pose right before we transition to down dog because I feel like the distance in our body is long and it gets us really prepped and set for that space there so <laughs> i uh i kind of told you what we're doing next right so we're going to tuck our toes under from our child's pose let's transition into downward facing dog so your hips begin to lift upward towards the sky as your hips start lifting you're pushing your chest back towards your thighs and that's to pull the shoulders away from your wrists you may still have a little bend in your knees and that's totally fine. Whatever gets your spine to be as long as it can. For me, I have to personally have a little bend in my knees. It's fine. Okay. Also, heels, will they touch the ground? Mm, maybe. Uh, more often than not, they won't and that's fine as well. However, energy-wise, you want the heels to feel like they're anchoring towards the earth. And then sometimes we overextend the front body. So let's take the ribs and seal them in towards spine so it activates the core. Whoa, I slid. <laughs> All right, on an inhale, looking forward. On your exhale, walk your feet to your hands. Take as many steps as you like to get to that space. We come into a forward fold. Hang heavily over the fronts of your legs. Then take a halfway lift, breathing in, shoulders draw up to hip level. I'd like to stretch my arms to the side bodies to help open my chest. Bring some energy to our upper body. And then exhale, melt again. Let it all go, right? So we want to bring liveliness into that movement. Halfway lift on an inhale. It's the heart that reaches forward. Shoulder blades slide down towards the tailbone. Exhale, fold again. We'll do that once more. Breath in, halfway lifting. Do not push the chin forward. You still look down at the ground. It's the crown of your head that lengthens out. And then fold as you exhale, release. Good, come up to standing now on an inhale. Ground your feet, rise, stack, and lift your arms to sky. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. And then on the exhale, stretch over to the right side. Inhale, standing tall, release that wrist. Grab hold the other and exhale. Stretch to your left. Keep equal weight into both feet. Good. Stand tall as you breathe in. Release the wrist. Exhale. Swine dive forward over your legs. Halfway lift on an inhale. Plank position on the exhale. Take your hands to the ground and then step back into structure. You can come down to your knees for a modified variation of this. Then let your heart draw forward with your next breath in. Lower down to the floor with arms hugged into the side body. Untuck the toes when we get here. Press the tops of the feet to floor. Breath in, peel your head and heart up. Hug between your shoulder blades, slide them down the back. Open your chest. Let it fold on the exhale. That's cobra, it's also called swan and pilates. Tuck your toes under. Breath in, back into downward facing dog with the breath out. Hips high chest back, heels down, and ribs in. Mm. Yeah. Looking forward on an inhale. 
Walk your feet to your hands on the exhale. Halfway lift on an inhale. So again, lengthen out your spine, open up your chest, and then melt and fold. Release, breath out. Breathing in, ground your feet to rise, stack, stand tall, reach arms overhead. This time interlace all but, up, all but pointer fingers above your head. And then exhale, stretch to your right side. Different variation, yeah? Come up tall on the inhale. Drop your shoulders from your ears. Stretch over to your left. You may have to bend your elbows a little bit to find that, okay? Stack up tall with your breath in. Release the hands. Fold back over the legs. Halfway lift on an inhale. Plank position on the exhale. Step back. Land in structure. Your legs are fired. Your glutes are squeezed. The abs are in and up. The chest muscles, right? Hugging in and elbows soft. Draw the heart forward a little bit more with your inhale. Lower to the ground with control. And again, you can come to knees first to get there. Once you're there, untuck the toes. Breath in. Peel the head and heart off the ground. Shoulder blades slide down the back. Exhale. Let that come back down. Again, never lead with your chin. Breath in. Head and heart lift. Hug between shoulder blades. Use your core strength. Exhale. Let that go. We're going to add to this now. With your next inhale, we'll lift again. Head and heart. But this time, as you begin to come down, squeeze your glutes and lift your thighs off the ground. So it's kind of like a seesaw here. Now, breath in, legs begin to lower as head and chest come up. And exhale, lower head and chest as the thighs come up. We'll do that twice more. Breath in, legs lower as heart and chest find lift. Exhale as the heart and head come down, the legs come up. One more time, lower the legs, lift head and heart, breath in. Exhale, head and heart to lower as thighs come up. Let's keep them there. Let's try to clap the heels together. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take the legs all the way back down again. <laughs> Tuck toes, breath in. Downward facing dog. Breath out. Hips up, chest back, heels down, ribs in. With your next inhale, right leg is going to lift back behind you, but only to hip level. Flex the foot. Okay? Take another breath in. As you exhale, right knee is going to bend, and you're going to bring that heel right into the glute. Squeeze. This is a hamstring curl. Then extend the leg back again on an inhale. Once more, curl in. Make sure the knee didn't drop down. Knee is still in line with hip behind you. Extend leg back on and inhale. One last time. Keep pushing your chest back towards your left leg. Exhale. Curl in. Heel to glute. Breath in. Extend that right leg back out. Exhale. Now swing the leg through body. Step up towards left or right thumb rather. Low lunge. Structure this. Back heel popped and lifted over. The ball of foot, right knee over ankle, belly in and up, and heart forward. Take your left hand just a step closer in towards your right foot, and then reach your right arm up to the sky. Stack and roll open. Spread the fingers of your right hand. Look up to it if you can. If not, straight on. If not, down to floor. Tap the fingers of your left hand and push away from the ground. Hug your legs to midline. Pull the belly in and up. Take an inhale. Here it comes. Exhale, take the left hand and float it off the ground. Shh. Oh, yeah, it's hard. And then release the hand back down on an inhale. Releasing down gracefully and controlled. Yeah. Exhale, let's find lift. This is core work and leg work. Bring it back to the floor on an inhale. Once more, exhale, lifting left hand off the earth and holding the space. Keep rolling open to the right. Four, three, two, one. Good. Left hand down. Right hand down, step up to forward fold. Hoo-ha, that was a toughie, yeah? <laughs> Halfway lift on an inhale. Release, fold, exhale. Come up to standing on an inhale, ground your feet, rise, stack, lift. Arms overhead, interlace your fingers, all of them now. Exhale, hands behind the head, elbows wide. Good, stretch to your right as you breathe in. Firm up the belly and lift back up on the exhale. Take it over to your left on an inhale. 
Good. Exhale. Core does all the work. Pull it back up. Breath in. Release the hands and extend arms up. Fold over legs. Exhale. Release. Good. Halfway lift on an inhale. Plank position on the exhale. Structure this out. Everything working. Good. Then let the heart draw forward with your next breath in. Lower to the ground on the exhale. Untuck the toes. Breath in. Head and chest come up. As you exhale, head and chest lower, thighs lift up, right? That seesaw motion. Then legs lower as chest lifts. Inhale. Exhale, head and heart come down, legs come up. Once more, legs down, heart up. Keep the chest lifted, squeeze the glutes, lift the legs up. Extend the arms out in front of you to frame your ears. So everything's lifted. We're in this kind of little boat position with our body. Hold this space for five. Fire up that breath. Four, the whole back body is working. Three, and your core in the front. Good. Two, one, rest. Bring your body down. Let the arms rest at your side and rest a cheek to the floor, whichever one is most comfortable for you, and maybe just close the eyes for a moment. Right? So just to hold that lift, that locust pose with arms extended forward, brings a lot of heat to the body. Good. Okay, that's enough for us. <laughs> Forehead to the ground, hands underneath your shoulders, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Hips are high, chest pushes back, heels root down, and ribs seal in. With your next inhale, left leg is going to lift behind you, but again, only to hip level. So leg is parallel to the floor here, flexed foot. Take a breath in. When you exhale, Bend at your left knee, bring the heel into the glute, squeeze it, feel the hamstring, the back of the leg firing up. Then extend the leg back behind you again on an inhale. So maintain your downward dog form. Exhale, bend the left knee, bring heel into glute, squeeze. And reach back on an inhale. One last time, exhale, curl in. Make sure the knee is still in line with its hip. Extend back as you breathe in. This time, bring that left leg up and through. Step towards left thumb. Lunge. So structure this again. Feet, <clears throat> they should be in a train track position, not tight rope. So two separate lanes. Back heel popped up. Back leg punches to sky. Heart forward, spine long. Right hand takes a step in closer to the left foot. And then reach your left arm up. So just stacking everything above that left shoulder. Rolling open. Okay, tent the fingers of your right hand, press away from the floor so you're not collapsing down into your body. Hug your legs into midline and pull the belly in and up. Take a breath in. Exhale, right hand comes off the floor. Whoa, yeah. And then release. I lost my bounce, that is for darn sure. All right, we'll do this again. Exhale, lift. Good, bring it down with grace, with control. Once more, let's find the lift. Let's hold it. Four, five, good. Four, steady breath. Three, keep rolling open. Two, one, good. Right hand down, left hand down. Ooh, step up, forward, fold. Wonderful. Let's take a moment here, rag doll. Let's let the upper body hang heavy. Grab elbows with opposite hands. You can walk your feet out a little bit wider if you'd like here. Maybe bend the knees deeply, let your uh, kind of torso drape over the thighs. You could offer movement here if you'd like, right? These are all just options. You can certainly have legs straight and come into stillness, whichever you prefer, but let the upper body just become very dead weighted here. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And then if you were in movement, you're gonna slowly come back into still. You're going to release the elbows, fingertips to the earth. If you'd widen up your feet a bit more, walk them back to hip width distance. But take a halfway lift on an inhale. Fold and release, exhale. You come all the way to standing on an inhale. Ground feet rise, stack, arms overhead, interlace, fingers, hands behind the head. Stretch to your right on an inhale. Squeeze, belly pull up, exhale. Stretch to your left, breath in. Tighten up the core, pull back up slow. Okay. Release the hands, extend the arms up on an inhale. 
Dive forward, exhale. Good, halfway lift on an inhale. Lower slowly to the floor on the exhale. Once you've come down, extend your arms out in front of you. Press your hips to the floor. Take a breath in and lift up. Arms, head, heart, legs. Good, float it back down on the exhale. Again, inhale. Arms, head, heart, legs all come up as one piece. Again, nothing leads the other here. And then fold, let go, melt. Once more, breath in, arms, head, heart, legs, all are up and let's stay here lifted, firm the arms and legs, we're moving into our swimming, our paddling, up and down with both arms and legs, while the center body, torso and head, remain still, chest lifted, breath full, five, good, four, keep up that movement, three, I know it's tiring, two, keep going, one, Good, rest. Again, maybe the opposite cheek. Rest of floor, arms at your sides. Take a moment here. And then bring the forehead back to the earth, hands back underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. <laughs> Pressing up, back, Rooting down and sealing in. Good. Right leg on an inhale is now going to lift behind you. Maybe even lift it up high if you'd like. Exhale, pull shoulders over wrists, pull knee towards chest, a three point plank. Look slightly forward as you do that. Then push back again into a three legged dog on an inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, shoulders, pull forward over the wrist, get that thigh hiked up and close to your belly. Push back on an inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee towards chest, shoulders over wrist, look slightly forward, and then step that right foot up towards right thumb. Low lunge, punch the back leg up, hug legs to midline, pull belly in and up. Rise, high crescent lunge on your inhale. Settle here, land here, exhale. So, vertical in your torso. Arms frame the ears, fingertips reach high, shoulder blades draw down your back. All right, here we go. Begin to hover over your right leg, hinging slightly forward at the hips. Push off the back foot. Straighten out your right leg and take off into warrior three, immediately flexing your left foot. Arms can be extended still or hands can come to heart center. Keep sending your heart forward. Take another breath in. And then as you exhale, re-bend the right knee, ground the ball of your left foot to the floor, bring shoulders back over hips, and then extend the arms back up again if they were no longer extended in front of you. So it's learning to transition into warrior three from high crescent lunge. There's mindfulness of our body, it's positioning, and it's engagement. We'll do that again. So we're going to start with a slight hover over the right thigh. We're not looking down at the leg, we're looking past it, right, past the front of our workspace. Push off your left foot, straighten your right leg, take off, but move in a slow manner. Flex your left foot immediately. If it's just relaxed, it's going to pull your weight down. We want to stay lifted. Arms can be extended, our hands to heart center. Let's take one more breath in. Ooh, I'm wobbly today. <laughs> On your exhale, rebend the right knee. Take the ball of your foot, the left one, to the ground. Then the shoulders come up over hips. Then the arms can extend back up if they were not already. <sighs> yep. That was tough for me. I don't know about you. Okay, warrior two from here. Swivel your back heel in. Open your hips to the left. Readjust your front foot to midline of workspace. Right knee now pressing over to pinky side edge of foot. Arms equally swept out. Gaze past your right middle finger. Find your focal point. Flip the front palm up on an inhale. We're going to reach up and back for a side body stretch. Reverse the warrior. As you exhale, windmill your hands down, frame your front foot, lift your back heel up. Take a step back, come into plank. Plank, walk your feet together. Left hand, step to center of your workspace. Then roll up into a uh, side plank on your right. You can drop down to your left knee for support 
or continue to keep both legs lifted. Just hug them firm, keep the hips lifted high, and maybe you start to roll open towards the sky. Take deep breaths in, long breaths out. Keep strong, take one more, inhale. And then bring it back down, right hand to the floor, left hand steps underneath the shoulder, and then we separate our feet hip width distance. Wonderful, downward facing dog. <laughs> Hits up, chest back, heels down, ribs in. Whew, I'm spent. <laughs> After yesterday, and I did a workout this morning, <laughs> and now here I am, live, falling all over the place, it's great. <laughs> all right, other side, left leg on an inhale, lifts up behind you. When you exhale, pull knee to chest, draw your shoulders over the wrists, look past the front of your workspace, three-point uh, three plank. Push it back again, three-legged dog. Inhale, chest back to that right thigh. Again, exhale, left knee to chest, shoulders over wrists, get that left leg to hug close into the belly, and then push it back again, three-legged dog. Breath out, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Then step that left foot up towards your left thumb. Low lunge, structure this. Back leg strong, legs to midline, belly in and up, heart forward. Rise up, stack up, high crescent lunge on an inhale, bring shoulders over hips, arms to sky. And then land here, meaning like what in your body is grounded and grounding, right? Your lower half is like your, your, your cement, right? And your upper half is rising, okay? Here we are in high crescent lunge. It's from the hip. You wanna hinge and then kinda of start to lean forward into that left leg. Arms still frame the ears. Then become lighter and lighter on your back foot and then push off the ball of your right foot, straighten out your left leg and send the heart forward. Take off warrior three. Flex that right foot, spread the toes and if you want to, hands to heart center. Keep the chest open, don't let your shoulders cave. Good. Take one more inhale here. As you exhale, re-bend the left knee, take a big step back with your right foot, ball the foot down. Shoulders pull back up over the hips to stack, and then you can extend the arms back up if they were not there already. Crescent lunge, right? So we break it down so every bit of that movement has a purpose. Therefore, it can help you a little bit more with balance. We'll do that again. So hovering over that left thigh. Heart still trying to stretch past the knee. Push off the ball of your right foot, straighten your left leg, and then take off. Mm -hmm. Right foot, don't let it be limp and heavy, right? Liven it up, push up through the heel. Arms can come to a different position if you're wanting. Stay here for one more breath then. Good, and then on the exhale, rebend the left knee, ball of the right foot, steps back, shoulders stack over hips, arms reach up. Here's your crescent lunge. Yeah, wonderful. It's not easy, but if you can kind of um, put it into compartments, it makes it a little bit more um, workable, okay? Warrior two from here. Swivel your back heel in. Open your hips to the right side. Walk your left foot to midline, okay? Deep lunge with your left leg. Back leg is straight and strong. Left knee, you want to pushing it over to pinky side edge to keep your outer hip muscle working. Arms are swept, shoulders are down, and you're looking past your left middle finger. Then that palm flips up as you reach up and back to reverse your warrior or your peaceful warrior. Windmill the hands down, frame the front foot, lift up the back heel, low lunge. Low lunge, step your left foot back, come into a plank. Walk your feet together in plank. Take your right hand, step it to center. And then roll open to the left side, left arm sweeps up. And again, you can come down to your right knee to modify your side plank, right? Or both legs can be lifted, hugged in strong, and maybe, just maybe, that left arm begins to pull back more and the heart rolls open. You can gaze up to the ceiling. It will challenge your balance just a little bit more. But breathe here, right? We tend to hold our breath during the hard parts. We want to use it. Good. Take one more inhale. Exhale, we come back to plank. So take the left hand down, step the right hand off to the side, little step out with the feet. Come down to the knees so that you're in a tabletop position. 
From your tabletop, take the right arm, sweep it out and up, look to the hand. Exhale, thread the arm through and underneath, reach across the floor, look to the left, rest down onto that arm. Just getting a little stretch into the backs of our shoulders, starting with, of course, the right arm. Big breaths in, long breaths out. We take one more inhale here. And then on the exhale, unwind, come back to tabletop position. So then the left arm on an inhale, sweeping out and up, looking to hand, reaching high, then thread arm through. Reach across to the right, looking in that direction and coming all the way down onto that left arm. Keep it active. The more you reach across, the more pull you're going to get into the back side of that shoulder. Breathe into that space. Uh, take one more breath in. And then as you exhale, come back to tabletop. From tabletop, find your child's pose. Knees wide, big toes tucked, right? Sitting to heels. As you're folding over legs, you're going to walk the hands out as far as you can to get the length. Spread fingers, hands shoulder width. From your child's pose, tuck your toes under. Transition back to downward facing dog. The hips are up, the chest is back, the heels are down, <clears throat> and the ribs are in. Wonderful. Right leg on an inhale lifts behind you. On the exhale, pull knee to chest, shoulders over wrists, three-point plank. Hike that leg in and up. Yeah, push it up and back. Three-legged dog on an inhale. Again, exhale. Knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Then step that right foot up to your right thumb, low lunge. Tempt the fingers of both hands to push away from the ground to send your heart forward more. Then your left hand takes a step in closer towards the right foot. Right arm reaches up. You roll open. Take a breath in. <laughs> On your exhale, lift those left fingertips off the ground using core strength and leg strength. And then release the hand back down. On an inhale, don't collapse down. Don't fall down. Control it. Again, exhale. Hug legs in. Pull belly in. Rise. Left hand off the earth. Good. Release left hand down. Release right hand down. We're squared back up to our mat. Then breathe in. Rise. High crescent lunge. Exhale. Land and ground here. Begin to hover over that right leg. This time, take the palms together. Bring your hands to heart center. Push off your left foot. Take off into warrior three. Straightening out your right leg. Left leg stretches behind you with foot flex. Shoulder heads pull back. Take a breath in here. And then as you exhale, bend your left knee, bring the heel to glute. Reach that leg back again on an inhale. That hamstring curl in a warrior three. Yes, sirree. Exhale, curl it in. Good. Keep your navel over your right ankle. Extend back. One last time here. Exhale, let's bring left heel into left glute. Good. Extend back with the leg on and inhale. And then begin to lower that left foot down to meet the right. The shoulders will naturally stack over everything. We come to stand in mountain pose. Release the arms at your side with fingers spread out wide. We pause here. We collect here. We regain our energy here. Good. Arms lift high as you breathe in. Dive and fold over the legs as you breathe out. Halfway lift on an inhale. Plank position on your exhale. Draw the heart forward as you breathe in. Lower slow to the ground on the exhale. Once you come here, untuck toes, extend arms forward. Press your hips down. Inhale. Arms, head, heart, legs all come up as one. Stay here. Firm and up. Begin to breathe and paddle. Arms and legs. Torso and head are like a statue. Five, chest up. Four, three, keep swimming. Two, <laughs> one, and rest. Take a cheek to the ground. Let your arms come at your sides. Nice big breath in. Nice long breath out. Good. Forehead to the floor. Hands underneath shoulders. Slide them in. 
Tuck your toes, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out, either through a plank, tabletop, or through child's pose. Good, left leg on and inhale, lifts behind you. Exhale, knee to chest, shoulders over wrist. Keep a flat back here as you look slightly forward. And then push it back, three-legged dog, left leg stretches back behind you again. Exhale, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Then step that left foot up to left thumb. Here's our low lunge, structured out. Powerful legs, belly in and up, tented fingers, heart open. Take your right hand a step closer into left foot and then reach your left arm to the sky, roll open to the left side of your mat. Take a breath in, legs hug in, belly firm, exhale. Rise so that the right fingertips lift off the floor. Release them down with control again on an inhale. Again, find exhale to lift as if there's a hook on your left hand pulling you straight up to the sky. Good. Inhale, the right hand back down, then the left hand back down. You square up. Exhale. Rise. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale to settle into the space. Breath in, hover over that left leg with uh, hinging at the hips. Exhale, hands together, heart space. Become strong in that left leg. Push off that back foot. Straighten the left leg, come into warrior three. Don't let the shoulders cave in. Right leg is extended back behind you with foot flex and toes spread. Take a breath in. Hamstring curl, exhale. Bring that right heel in towards your right glute while balancing on the left leg. Good. Stretch it back on an inhale. Take it slow, right? Exhale. Mindful, methodical movement. Heel into glute. Feel that hamstring firing up. Then slow extension back on the inhale. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do one more. Exhale. Curl in. Broaden and cross your chest. Good. Lengthen the leg back behind you on an inhale. Keep the leg long as you exhale. Just lower the foot down. Bring it in line with the left. Shoulders will naturally stack up over everything, so we stand tall. Release hands, arms at your side. Mountain pose. Palms are forward. Shine your heart to sky. Seal the ribs in, though. Root not only fingertips towards the earth, reaching there, and also root the feet down. Breath in, arms, reach up high to the sky. Exhale, dive forward over the legs. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Let's slowly lower down to seated on the breath out. Take your time. Try to be as graceful as possible. And once you've come down, make sure that you position yourself at the center of your mat or workspace, wherever you are. And then extend the legs out long in front of you. Staff pose for a moment. So with legs long in front of you, feet flex, toes to sky, tent the fingers of your hands and place your hands beside either hip. Push off the ground to lift your heart higher as your shoulder blades slide down your back and the belly pulls in and up. From this space, then take the fingertips off the floor, extend your arms directly out in front of you. Make sure your hands are a little bit wider than shoulder width. Right, so to keep the chest nice and opened. Here we are. Take a breath in. See if you can sit up a little bit taller. Mm -hmm. On your exhale, tuck just your tailbone under and roll back just a little bit and hold that space. We're going to do a few of these sort of go in increments. Take a nice breath in. Just the upper body. So hips up, twist over to your right. This is movement from the waistline, not the arms. So the arms don't continue over, okay? Come back through center on the inhale. The arms are just kind of along for the ride with this one. Exhale, rotate to your left. So we're activating those obliques, the waistline. Come back through center, pause at center. With your breath out, you're going to roll down a little bit further, just a little bit. Stay there, breathe in. Legs should not shift at all here. Twist it out to your right. So imagine that you're wringing out water from a towel. <sighs> Breathe it and come back through center as if you're filling that towel back up with water so that you can bring it out again over to your left. 
Good. Come back through center on and inhale. Stay centered. Exhale. Roll back a little bit further. We're going to do two more here. Breath in. So now that I'm lower to the floor, exhale. My twist might not be as big, and that is okay. Size doesn't matter here with this particular movement. It's about control. Come back through center. And what muscles are you using to stabilize? It's our core. It's our waistline. Squeeze out to the left. Come back through center. Stay centered. Here's our last one. So let's exhale. Come back a little bit further. Take another breath in. Anchor those legs to the ground. Twist out to your right. I'm barely moving here, guys. Very little. It's okay. Come back through center. Again, twist to left. Squeeze all that breath out. Come back through center. We're going to stay centered here. Take another breath in. Right leg. Exhale. Lift it up. Push out through the heel of your foot. This is quad and core. Bring that leg back down again with a bit of resistance. Then the left leg slowly pulls up. Nothing else moves here in the body. Release the leg down on an inhale. Let's get two more in, shall we? On each side, that is. Right leg lifting up slow. Bring it down on the inhale. Left leg, slow pull up. Feel the core firming to support. Release the leg down. One more in us, each side. Here we go. Push that breath out. Squeeze it and lift the right leg up. Drive forward with that heel. Take it down on an inhale. <laughs> Left leg, exhale, slow pull up. Good. Then lower the leg down. Then slowly roll all the way down onto your mat. Draw the knees into chest. Open your arms out to a T. Lower both legs to the right as you look over your left shoulder for a twist. Deep inhales. Long exhales. But take one more breath in. Tighten up your core. Exhale. Lift legs and head through center and begin to transition to your other side. Legs lowering to your left as you look over your right shoulder. Twist. Any variation you'd like to take here. Just a little rotational movement for your spine. I take one more breath in. Last time here with tight core, exhale, legs through center, head through center. From here, place your feet to the ground. Then lengthen the legs all the way out to the floor. Bring your arms in a bit closer to your sides. Here's our two minute Shavasana. Like I had posted up earlier, right? This idea that why is the whole class, you know, X amount of time, this class is what, 58 minutes of work, two minutes for Shavasana. Yep, and probably less than that. So let it all go for a moment. Palms face up, shoulders roll open, feet are heavy. Close your eyes. Slightly part your teeth, unhinge your jaw. A few brief moments of stillness with breath. Reconnect to yourself. Notice sensations in your body. Yeah, become full circle. Staying in this quiet space, slowly take one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Lightly press in and then feel this, right? Maybe the beating of your heart and the movement of your belly up and down due to your own breath. And as you physically connect to yourself, take the time to say thank you, right? To you, thank you for showing up today, for coming on to your workspace, being present in your practice, but the most important that you really just showed up to yourself and gave your body, mind, and soul opportunity of movement, breath, connection, and understanding. Take the arms and reach them overhead with your next inhale. Stretch it back. Exhale, draw knees to chest. Place your hands on your knees. You're in this little ball. 
Begin to rock yourself forward and back, up and down the spine until you've rocked yourself up to seated. As you sit up, ground your sits bones in, cross your legs, lift your heart to sky, hands together to your heart center. Feel the thumb knuckles press to sternum and lower chin to chest, bow head to heart, heart to head. I would like, just like to say a brief thank you for you guys, right, Facebook world, for showing up here, right, for watching this, for whether it be the whole class or maybe just a couple of minutes to pop in. I am grateful for anyone who wants to just listen or participate and maybe just learn a little bit more about their own body. So thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Here's to another wonderful week. Namaste.